Hello everyone, Sigmulator here. Welcome back to Returnal. Let's see if I can... Shit. I'm gonna get my weapons back. Are you coming or no? Enhanced vision. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh. Okay, that's different. You're up there. I wonder if I have to find the Crimson Key again. I bet I probably do. Are you ether? Yes, thank you. Ooh, an orange two star gun. Glass oh, shell. I know you're still a you're still a side pistol, but you might be an improvement from the bog standard one. Right, let's re-explore everything. I wonder. No, okay. I still don't know what to do with those. door down there not going to jump down there yet right not what I wanted to do Whoa. 
There we go. Grants weapons more damage every 200 uh, obelites carried. Okay, so that's what those coils do. Oh, there's health around here somewhere. Down below, maybe? Yep. I'm not going to jump down there. Oh, God. <sighs> not knowing the controls. Just the response times seem a bit... Well, not a bit. They are a bit too sensitive. Right. Where's this health? I kind of need it. Right, it's not up here, so it has to be down here somewhere. All right, there is a floor down there. I don't know. Still haven't found any weapons yet. I would like my weapons back. Oh, yes. Uh, the shotgun again. Not great, but it'll, it'll do for now. Fuck. Oh, fuck off. Go fuck yourself. Uh. 
fuck's sake! Oh, look at that. The house is back to normal now. Can I go inside? All right, let's go inside. Although I'm rapidly losing patience with this now. It's the first recording episode of the day. This has changed. It's like someone is moving things. Hi, sweetheart. I'm not coming home. Is, is that it? Something scribbled out there, I don't know what. Well, that's dark and ominous. After having dwelled too long on what the rejection paper had stated in plain terms, outside the fog was coalescing into a person standing at the front door. Another unwanted memory. The tally had made her break with the kind of uh, permanence that in her instincts told her. The instincts told her to risk. She would have burned it with all the rest. Throw chaos into the entire system, she said to no one. Her admission masqueraded as bravado, a reaction that had been pushing through the cracks lately. She might regret this tomorrow, and without a bottle of ambrosia or shared bed to crawl into, Doom was holding her name alone, and she almost welcomed it. Now that the uh, environment had shifted to something far more stable, it seemed a safe enough time to start testing the area for reality bubbles. She entered the atrium, adjusted her equipment, and scanned the interior. Third instance, no unreality tears in matter or energy, systems nominal. She frowned. The final hardwired statement was lying to her. That status hadn't been accurate for objective years. Still, mock or hope, it was better than uh, complications the crew had in time to calibrate before brain death occurred. With a little luck, she might survive this dive. The, the adjacent doorway had been wrenched open by a powerful force. That alone was evidence that she was finally on the verge of success, despite the implied danger. She passed over the first threshold. A babbling noise came from the darkened monitor across the room. As she approached it, it resolved into muffled crying, as if submerged countless fathoms below. Then she realised that was churning... Ica? Aisha? Without hesitation, she plunged her arms inside. Nothingness had a feeling. As always, there was no physical sensation of moving her hands inside the void womb. Only a phantom memory afterwards. Probing, reaching, barely missing the thing that was a titan. There had to be, there had to be one hiding. If only she could extend her hand one more inch. An echo of violence, like a guillotine on a piano fell scant feet away from her position. She yanked her hands from the Ica, her heart hammered, a prisoner with a rip within a rib cage. That was closer than last time. Undeterred, frustrated at losing the chance to grab a defenceless Titan, 
She inspected the source of the noise. The air was vibrating in the pattern of a song she hated. Must have been for effect. Her fingers danced. She called the song forth only out of spite and to prove to whatever was watching her she was in control. Acheron. Acheron. Acheron? The pearl came from the atrium. Retribution's exo demanded her attention, frustratingly ill-timed. Tally stormed into the atrium, answered the call, and heard nothing. Dead air, dead air buzz, and the tone of failed connection. Her equipment was being destroyed from the inside, out like her. Destroyed from the inside, out like her. But then a similar to uh, similar drone began emanating from the Ica field monitor back into the other room. She returned and watched it, expectation sinking. Yet it appeared. Two alternating images of the long extinct past and to never never to exist future. Timelines she knew, timelines so painful, they never stopped weighing her, down her mind whenever it drifted towards the peaceful sleep denied to her night after night. The price of necrophysics. The images stopped flipping, froze on a single frame. The astronaut stared back. Recognising the background, Tandy rushed to the hallway connecting the atrium with... With what? Dead Chronos waits dreaming. Do they know? We are adequate match. Astra found a way to let me in. Why has everything gone dark all of a sudden? Ah, the old astronaut. Oh, it's, it's actually not letting me walk down there. Alright, who are you? What do you want? And nope, not behind me. Oh, it's lens flare. Okay. Now, what do I do? Ah, I see. Octo. I remember you. Um. Shoot it. You have a gun. Oh, hello. Another one of these. I don't know if it's a good idea for me to be picking those up. Oh, my laptop's gone.
Regrettable delay. Inadequate match. Who's this for? Dear applicant, we apologise to the guests for delaying our response. With a truly humbling amount of applicants to choose from, our unexpected predicament is both extraordinary and unprecedented. After thorough analysis of your materials, although we appreciate your interest, we have decided to pursue other candidates whose backgrounds and aptitudes more closely align with our current requirements and future needs. At present, we feel your proficiencies would prove an inadequate match given conditioning necessary for deep space missions. Should we have openings more related to your field, we encourage you to reapply at such a time. We appreciate your interest in our program. All this regards, Astra Command. Huh. Oh. Okay. Music box. And what did that say? Cars get away from making style. It sometimes emits a short, broken energy in total silence. Additional data needed for further analysis. Cool. Back here again. Not open you yet? No. What about you? No. Won't do anything with you. Oh, there's a secret nearby. That's what you do. You're where I came through. Wait, what? Yes, there we go. What's this? I still have a chance. No, I'm not swapping anything out. That health thing's going to be vital. Broken calibrator. Health. Thank you. Cool, what are you? Your location cost reduces by 50 minutes, reduces by 50 minutes. No, why would I want that? I don't like the idea of these parasites. What?
Right, oh, I need, right. I need to take this thing out because it's keeping them alive. Die. Thank you. <sighs> right. Good. That's that all taken care of. Collect parasites. Oh, right, okay. I know I had to collect a parasite to get rid of this malfunction. But I didn't want that last parasite because I feel like that would have screwed me more. Oh, there's a gun here. What are you? You're exactly the same as I have now. Critical hit 93% hardened. Do I swap you out? Now, I suppose... A high percentage of getting a crit is a good, a good trade. Shit. Yes! Finally killed one of these fuckers. Ouch. Jesus. Really? It's... But what are you? Broken calibrator. Suppose that's useful. Health. Oh, another, another one of me. Of dangerous fauna on this world is beyond anything I've previously experienced. I hate to use the term, but it feels mythic. It's impossible not to think of my books, hydras, gorgons, and other monsters returning to life. Okay, I think I'm starting to get the picture. Is Selena not really an astronaut then, but an author? And with the pills, she's... I don't know, maybe this is all in her head. What's this? Ground surge. Both... Ground surge, right, okay. But why is my objective over here?
Wait, hold on. Magnet, no. Right, if I go down there again, I'm going to have to fight spindly arm dude, Fry or whatever, Fry or whatever his name was. Don't want to fight him again. We've we've had that. We've had that discussion, and I eventually won. So. My objective is here, apparently. Oh, that must be the Crimson Gate, which is, looks like it's already unlocked. I don't know. Alright, good, I don't need the key again. Okay, well at least that's consistent, that's a good checkpoint in some regards. I don't need to fight the boss again, I just need to get back to this point. So with that in mind, let's collect this quickly. Really. And we're going to end this episode here. Although I'm not really feeling that I want to play this for very much longer if I have to get reset again, but we'll see. Thanks for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma Later. This has been Returnal, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now.